When programming, not only in Python, if you say that a variable has a numeric value, you are being ambiguous. The reason is that numbers can be integers or floating points, also called floats, for instance. Integers are positive or negative whole numbers without a decimal point. Let's create x1 and bind it to the value of 5. Now, x1 is an integer. Do you agree? A specific function in Python can prove this is correct. It is called type. Within the brackets, we must place the name of the variable whose type of value we want to verify. So in this case, I'll type x1. OK. Shift plus Enter, and the result we obtained is int, which indicates the value is an integer. The type function can also be applied directly to a value instead of a variable. For instance, if I write type, open parentheses, minus 6, close parentheses, Python will correctly point out that minus 6 is an integer. Good. Now, let's assign the value of 4.75 to a new variable, x2. I would like to check its type, hence, I will use the type function again. This is a float. Great! Floating points, or as you'll more frequently hear, floats, are real numbers. Hence, they have a decimal point. 4.75 is such a number, therefore, Python reads it as a float. Let's look at two other built-in functions. int transforms the variable into an integer. That's why 4.75 turns into 4. Float, instead, will add a decimal point to the integer value and will turn it into a float. Not all variables should assume numeric values. An example of such type of values is the Boolean type. In Python, this means a true or false value, corresponding to the machine's logic of understanding ones and zeros. On or off, right or wrong, true or false. Let's provide an example with a new variable x3, which is equal to true. Right. The output of the type function is bool, which simply means x3 is a boolean. An important detail you should remember is you have to type true or false with capital letters. Otherwise, Python won't recognize your variable as a boolean and will display an error message. So, to wrap it up, the two Boolean values a variable can have are true or false, and they must be written with capital letters. Thank you for watching.